Hey, it's Tesh from Turnbuckle Times, and in today's wrestling news, CM Punk reportedly went off script when he called out Adam Page on AEW Dynamite this week. Hollywood action star Sylvester Stallone defends pro wrestling, and Goldberg laments why his match with Steve Austin never happened. Since AEW Dynamite aired this week, it's being reported that CM Punk went off script when he called out Adam Page for a rematch from their bout earlier this year knowing prior that the former champion wouldn't appear to accept his challenge. After defeating Page at Double or Nothing in May, Punk was forced to sit on the sidelines for several months nursing a foot injury. Although the feud between Punk and Page ended that night, the two supposedly haven't seen eye to eye since the build up to their match. According to a recent report from Fightful Select, CM Punk met with AEW higher ups about the context of one of Page's promos, telling others after the meeting that he would not lose to Page at the pay per view. The report also states that people within AEW felt that last night's promo was unfair to Page, given that he was not aware it was going to happen, and ultimately put him in a no win situation as he could not interrupt a promo he wasn't supposed to be involved in. The report also mentioned that Page was in the building during the promo, but he is not viewed as a confrontational person and is generally well liked by the talent. Many backstage believe that Punk thought Hangman went into business for himself, with Punk using his promo as a receipt to Page. Next up, Sylvester Stallone says he loves professional wrestling. The Hollywood star, who is famous for his leading roles in the Rocky and Rambo franchises, opened up about his thoughts on the grappling game during an interview with Sports Illustrated. Stallone said, I love wrestling. It's all about getting swept up in the drama. The star of the upcoming film Samaritan has appeared in movies alongside wrestlers such as Hulk Hogan, John Cena and Batista. He has also starred in Paradise Alley, a movie that featured the likes of Haku, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase and Terry Funk. Sly even inducted Hogan into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005. In reply to the argument that wrestling is fake, Sly said, really? Gravity is real. Jumping off the top rope or having 300 pounds land on you, that's real. He would then go on to compare the wrestling business to his time spent as one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. I feel the same way about action films. All I know is I've had maybe 31 operations due to action films, so I consider it very real. Wrestling has nothing to do with who's scoring a touchdown. It's entertainment. It's not meant to be the score is now 14 to 3. It's a morality play all about the drama. And finally, after Goldberg finally signed with WWE in 2003, many fans were clamoring for fresh matchups that involved the former WCW champion. Whilst viewers were able to see some of these dream matches come to fruition, such as the bout with The Rock, one that never happened was Goldberg versus arguably the biggest WWE star of the Attitude Era, one Stone Cold Steve Austin. Appearing on Talk is Jericho, WWE Hall of Famer Goldberg said, There's no question that I wish it would have happened. That was the match to have. I think 90% of the reasoning behind that was Austin's neck issues and my finishing moves. Whether it be the spear, whether it be the jackhammer. I don't think those are the moves that he would have wanted to do, nor would his boss would have wanted him to do. I think it was a safety issue more than anything else. The former football player has been accused by some of being dangerous inside the square circle. WWE legend Bret Hart has famously gone on to say that Goldberg's work rate was a 0 out of 10 and has bashed his ability on multiple occasions. 